In the video you're about to watch, I'm going to explain not only how to pump down the Oxford CryoStream 700, but also why each of these steps is so important. And uh, you're going to hear a buzzing sound throughout the video. This is a video that was taken in a live chemistry lab, so there's a lot of things going on. I apologize that it, some of the audio couldn't be clearer. Hope you enjoy the video, and at the very least, we've got some great dancing at the end. Take care. And enjoy. All right. Today we're going to do a quick video. We're having some problems with the cryo. As you can see, the cold head here has a bunch of condensation all over it. We're having trouble bringing it to temperature, so that indicates the problem is likely that the cold head needs to be pumped down. So what we need is our uh, device to screw onto the top of the cold head. We need uh, this vacuum pump. We've got two segments of, of the hose on it and then this, uh, this reducing uh, portion. And so that'll let us make this connection once uh, this thing is hooked up. And of course, to make that connection, we'll need another one of these, uh, these uh, spacers. Okay, so here we go. Uh, again, it's, it's uh, quite wet here. Um, we've turned off the cryo. And what we're gonna do is basically disconnect these two cables here. One, two. We need to undo this electrical connector. And this just screws off, there we go, right at the base like that. And now we've got this little cap that, that basically protects the vacuum port. Take this on, be careful not to cross thread it. And actually what we're gonna do is loosen this black one slightly, pull this up, and now gently twist this on. Again, we do not want to cross thread these cables. So the idea is this should all be under vacuum. There's a plug in here. And what this device does, with this screws on, and what we do is this will screw into the plug and allow us to pull the plug out and put the plug back in with a vacuum connected. So we'll, uh, I'll probably speed this up. Okay, see we got a pretty high, va pretty high pressure here and we are now going to start up the vacuum. Now, 
Okay. Uh, now it's important to note that uh, it's important to note that we're, the only thing we're pumping down here is uh, up to the connector, right? The system is still closed, so we're just basically pumping down this uh, this tube, and so this we should be able to reach a, a low pressure pretty pretty uh, pretty quickly. Okay, this little thing means the TMP is at full speed rotation. So this is now, uh, uh, you know, this is now in full operating mode. And you can see the pressure is getting pretty low here. We're at 1.3 times 10 to the minus 3 millibar. Um, in just a second, we're going to basically hit the, uh, uh, the, the, the bottom of the charts, as it were, for this particular vacuum gauge. And we know that we've achieved basically the lowest pressure uh, that we can record with this, uh, with this particular vacuum pump. Okay, so we know that this is all under vacuum now. There's still a plug right around there, and we're going to engage the plug with this, with this plunger. So the way this works is you have to loot, there's this black ring here. You have to loosen it slightly so that the plunger can move up and down. And, we'll, and there's threads here. You want to be really careful, but you put it in until you can you know, feel it hit something. Then you gently twist it and it, you can sort of, you have to feel it, but it won't come up now because it's engaging the plug. And you twist it in, twist it in. And there, now it's a little bit tight. That means this is fully threaded onto the plug that's inside here. Now, if I lifted this up, we would begin evacuating things. And I'm gonna hold off lifting it up because uh, I wanna show the actual change in the vacuum on the gauge of the vacuum pump as opposed to just showing me lift this thing up. So here we go. We're about to pull the plunger. You're gonna see the vacuum go up and that's because we're pulling, you know, we've got obviously air and whatnot in that headspace. And then, and then the vacuum will slowly start going down and we're gonna basically wait 24 hours. All right, so here we go. Take a look here. I'm about to pull the plunger out and I'm pulling it out now. There we go. So you can see the vacuum jumped up. And the pressure's going down, but not tremendously quickly. Again, that it's got to pump down quite a bit of headspace. And also remember, the transfer line is in here heating up, which means it's giving off water, which uh, you know is also changing the pressure reading here. But anyway, now we're basically just going to let this thing sit for 24 hours. Okay, so here we are, about 24 hours later. Everything's been pumping, pumped down. Uh, we can see on the turbo pump here that it's reading less than 1 times 10 to the minus 4, so that's basically off the charts. Uh, what we're going to do now, we unplug the heater, we're going to remove the transfer line here, and I'll show you what we have to do up on top in just a second. Okay, so we know that this is all nice and clean and dry and under vacuum right now, and remember we have this plug. What we're going to do is we're just going to push down on this plunger, and put this plug in place, okay? So the system now is nice and closed and sealed. Now it's still really easy to take the plug in and out because the whole thing is under vacuum. But if we break this vacuum, uh, what it's gonna do is it'll be, you know, ambient pressure uh, up here, and that's actually gonna hold the plug in place and make it a lot easier to take out the plunger. So next up, I'm gonna hit stop on the vacuum pump, and we're gonna break vacuum and be back in just a second. Okay, we're back. It takes a few minutes for the vacuum pump to power down. We broke the vacuum, and so we can see, you know, the plunger is in place here. Now, the, what we wanna do is actually unscrew the plunger from that plug, so we just start unscrewing, and at some point it'll sort of, feels like it's coming a little bit loose, and we can pull it up. And now we don't have to worry that we pulled the, the plug out, because again, it's being held in by a vacuum. If this thing was still under vacuum, there's a chance we could actually have accidentally just pulled the plug up, and that would be bad. All right, so now all we do, we're gonna take off this device. All right, 
just comes off nice and easy. We'll just have a quick look to make sure the plug's not there. It's not there. It shouldn't be there. We did that just fine. All right, we put the cap back on. And now we're going to hook up our other two cables. This is the flow side. It's clearly marked here and here. So just press it on and it clicks into place. Here's the next one. Click into place. And now the electrical connector just over. Kind of wiggle it into the right setting here. There it goes. The connector's on. So. Uh, the cold head should now be pumped down. We're going to put the transfer line back into the thing, turn it on, and hope everything goes well. Okay, now it's time to work on the transfer leg. It's still a little warm to the touch down here. Uh, we stopped this maybe about 10, 10 minutes ago, but that's actually good because if it's warm, it's not going to be collecting moisture, and that's the biggest problem. But now we're just going to get everything put back together. That is the transfer leg through the lid, just gently. Back into place. Okay. Now we're gonna lift this up and over. Easy, easy. Okay, now just kind of wiggle some things around. Easy does it. Transfer line sort of finds a nice natural spot. Now we're just going to basically turn this thing on and make sure it cools down properly. Okay, so everything's wrapped up. It's a little noisy back here, but as we can see, the uh, the, the cryostats uh, going well, right around 90 degrees. So everything's working great. I'd like to just thank uh, my uh, cameraman one. Cameraman two is actually hiding back over there, uh, Tasha. And then my two little helpers. Claire and Louise. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, subscribe if you like uh, this channel.